That's how wrecking works in this game, by the way. Let me see if I can show you building. That flare was not bad. I think you can build up in, in these uh, in these houses you can build, I think. I'm gonna get killed when I do it though, but... Okay. Hi guys, it's Matthias, and in this video I'd like to focus on some of the things in Battlefield 5 that are similar or that are very different from Battlefield 1. It's basically a comparison between the two games, and even though it's obvious, I'll say it anyway, it is of course based on the alpha build, of Battlefield 5. Now one of these new features is of course construction. You can build walls and you can also rebuild things that have been destroyed such as ammo and resupply stations and there are also fortifications that involves stationary weapons, something that I believe you can build as well. And I'll show you a little bit of it here and basically how it works is that the moment you bring out this hammer various places on the map will uh, indicate where you can build and what you can build. Was it the best fortification ever built? But at least I showed you how it's done. We better to build it. Objective Charlie is now ours. Like. The objective. I'm gonna try to show you building here. Uh, T. Aha, uh -huh, so the moment you bring out the hammer, it, see all these places where it gives you a possibility to build, but now there's a lot of people here. I can't build. I'm trying to show you. There's a lot of people here now. A lot of the things that you see in this video is uh, things that I've learned from you guys. Comments both on my YouTube channel and on my stream on Twitch. Here's one of the things. Notice how I'm healing without dropping a medkit on the ground. Instead what I'm doing is uh, holding the key 4 rather than tapping it once or even twice. Now, so far, for the most part, I do a little bit of both. And it can be a little bit hard to see that I'm actually using this new feature, even though I actually do it all the time. This is a typical example of me doing both. I'm dropping the medkit, but instead of using it, I self-heal with that new animation. And here you see me doing it again, and I have to admit, sometimes I take a little while before I get used to these changes. So you bring out the hammer, here you can build reinforcement like here. Oh, before he does. So I build that. Now I can camp in here, like a bows. Here I can build here. But you can move while building, that's good. So it's, it's just certain pl places on the map that uh, it shows up a hammer icon when, uh, when you can build. Now obviously this has been inspired by Battle Royale and survival games. And I bring up both because normally or in many cases at least, Battle Royale games are mods and game modes from survival games. Not always though. Lately, it seems to me that these two game types are being more and more separated. Speaking of which though, I do have a confession to make. Truth be told, Perfect. I am actually looking a little bit forward to the Battle Royale mode in Battlefield 5. I heard that guy. I can hear them. I can. I. I want to rebuild this. Huh? You didn't know I was such a crafty man, did you? And there you go. Once this has been rebuilt, I can resupply myself again, which of course everyone else can as well. So here I'm bringing up one of the bugs that I came across running around here without my weapon. Uh, this has been reported a lot of times 
And one of the things that I would like to bring up here is that whenever you try to provide feedback and criticism and suggestions to an alpha game, you will be met with the cliche, hey, it's alpha, what do you expect? Or something similar. <laughs> no weapons bug. <laughs> I was met with a lot of harsh reactions from one of my uh, earlier videos and one of the things that I want to point out is that you have to compare the alpha of this game with other alphas. Normally we get a pretty good indication of where the game is going from the alpha so if there is something you don't like about it or if there's something you really do like about it you should absolutely speak out about it. After all, feedback is part of what the alpha is for. But what is also important to remember is that when it comes to Battlefield 1, for example, a lot of the problems and the bugs and the issues that was reported in the beta and the alpha oh, is still in the game today, two years later. And since this is the case, then this whole argument that, hey, it's alpha, it's not a finished game yet, well, those arguments, they do not work. So I'm really hoping that this time, the bugs and the serious issues are going to be addressed early on. So now another thing that is quite different from Battlefield 1 to Battlefield 5 is that the classes are not, in the same way at least, limiting your combat efficiency to certain ranges. Now in Battlefield 1 this was uh, quite a lot more prominent in the beginning of the game and as uh, the game progressed with the patches and the new updates more and more versatility was added to, well, basically all classes. A couple of examples is that the Riber Rolls was added to the Assault class, giving that class a little bit more range. The Fjordrov was added to the Medic class, giving it a fully automatic weapon, or, well, a fully automatic weapon with more than 10 bullets at least. Now in Battlefield 5, the difference between the Assault class and the Medic class is not as significant. The Assault class is with the default weapon a lot more effective at range than in Battlefield 1, and if you don't want to have this semi-automatic weapon for the Medic class, you can quite quickly switch to a fully automatic SMG and uh, go more for close quarter combat. Just like before, you also have the assist counts as kill, if you just do enough damage to an enemy that shortly after is killed by another teammate. There! More first aid! Ah, oh, no! I wanted to revive that guy. The dynamite works a little bit differently, you have it for the assault class, and you can throw it a bit further than you can in Battlefield 1. It also sticks to walls and uh, vehicles, just like C4. I guess it's called stick dynamite for a reason. Whoa! No! <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, fucking trees! Now when it comes to flying, there are quite a number of differences. One of the main differences is of course that trees are just as overpowered, they have a tendency to grow just that? in front of your plane, obviously a not a problem now. to me because as you know Matti never crashes, but it might cause some problems to some of you guys. I killed the AA! Whoa! Oh shit. So yeah, just like in Battlefield 1, the pilot class is actually a scout class, ish at least. And if you bail out from your plane and you continue on the ground, you have access to this flare gun, and it's actually quite good. Now don't get me wrong, the range of the flare gun is limited quite heavily, but with the new spotting system that also is very limited, I find the flare gun to be very useful in Battlefield 5. And yes, more about the new revive system. Here's an important thing that I learned from you guys. After holding... Notice how I revived without bringing out the syringe. Instead I was holding E over that body and the animation was triggered. Here's another example of a weapon versatility. Hehehe. <laughs> 
Now, obviously, we don't know how much of this is going to remain once the final build is here. And even after that, we will still see changes and patches for at least a year and a half. Now, one of the things that I would like to point out is that I am one of those people that prefers uh, versatility, uh, weapons with versatility. I think that's more fun. I think it adds more interesting gameplay. But a lot of people disagrees with that. This is, of course, something that is completely opinion-based. You cannot really say that the one is wrong over another. You have your opinion, which might be the same as mine, or it might not. But me, I really hope that we will not see classes being limited to certain ranges in the same way that we saw in Battlefield 1. Personally, I like it when classes and weapons are more versatile. That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it, and you cannot convince me otherwise. Here's another thing that uh, we see from Battlefield 1. Seat switching, it's back. And this is my first attempt. A double kill! Now what do you think about that sound of the flare gun dealing damage to the enemies? Not sure they'll keep it, but I like it. No! So overall, I actually did enjoy the closed alpha. Um, I had some uh, critique to provide, of course, but overall, you know, it's a pretty nice experience, and uh, I'm a bit more hopeful now that the alpha is over. Now, before I stop talking here, I'd like to let you know that I'm soon coming with a video showing you the Via rocket as well, both killing with it and getting killed by it. So I hope you will finish the video. My name is Matthias. I want to thank you all for watching. Oh, he's rolling. Oh, now my, my weapon is bugged. Look at this. What a great bug. Look at this bug. See how it's skipping frames, by the way. Oh, sniped. Sorry, guys, you're on your own. Fucking fire over the where I'm gonna revive. Not much I can do there. Good work.